everybody. Hello and welcome to another one of our 12.30 p.m. Facebook Lives here at Arizona Science Center. My name is Maverick and all summer long, this is, the, this is our last week of uh, camp innovation taking over our Facebook Lives and this is our last week of virtual camp. And all summer long, we have been taking over these Facebook Lives here doing all kinds of amazing things and this week our theme is amusement park camp. All week we're going to be learning about all kinds of awesome rides and the physics behind different amusement parks and theme parks and all of your favorite rides. And we're also going to be making our very own. We're going to be taking you through activities this week, learning just how to make some of your favorite amusement park rides right here at home. Now, the first one that we're going to be doing this week, today we were talking a lot about amusement park design and then we talked a little bit about centrifugal force which is basically the force as something rotates around a center point in a circle it's the force that essentially holds that that keeps whatever is in there whether it's a rider whether it's a marble in a cup whatever it is keeps that rider in and pulled towards the center so it doesn't just completely fly out of the ride and one of my absolute favorite rides that kind of does a little bit of this concept here is some of those the, the swinging ship rides, like those pirate ship rides that kind of swing back and forth and they can get really high and kind of keep going back and forth there. And we're going to make our very own ship swing ride right here. So I've got a cool little example of one. And this is what we're going to kind of be making here. But as you can see, well, let me actually put it down here because my hand is not a stable base. And it can swing back and forth a little bit, and we can experiment, and you can experiment right there at home with different materials. So I'm going to be using very specific materials here, but you can experiment with different materials at home to see what works better and what works worse, right? So the main things that you're going to need are going to be a couple straws or tubes or something. These are going to be the sides here. You're going to need three, like, cups, whether it's little Dixie cups. You can honestly do two Dixie cups and something else or whatever you want as your base here, as you can see with that one. You're gonna want a couple of these Dixie cups. So I've got my one for the middle where the rider's gonna be, and then I've got my two for the base. And you're gonna want like a hole punch or some scissors. I took some scissors and punched a hole in the bottom of uh, this right here so that this it's gonna hold the, um, the straws up in the place. And then you're gonna need like a popsicle stick or something that's gonna go across the top. You're going to need some ribbon, some string, something that will actually work as the supports for your swing. And you're going to need some glue. I've got a hot glue gun right here, but you're going to need some glue or some tape. If you don't have glue, it's totally okay to use tape, as long as you can secure these together. Um, and then paper is something that you can glue it on. Now, the very first thing that you're going to want to do is set your base. So you're going to take your two cups, and you're going to take your scissors or whatever you want and poke a hole into those two cups right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your glue and you are going to glue these on to your paper. Now, anytime you're using like a hot glue gun, you always want to be careful. So make sure you know how to use these before you do it. And I'm trying to make sure that this doesn't ring because my mic has been really funky here. So I apologize about that. Um, so that's why I'm not really leaning too much. Um, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a little bit of that hot glue and you're literally just going to glue around. Whew. I don't know why this is, my mic is being weird, so I apologize about that, guys. And you're literally just going to glue around there just to secure it to the paper. And I'm just going to do a little bit right there because you want to take some time to let that set to dry, but we don't have to sit here and watch glue dry because that's not the most exciting thing. So you would glue it to that. I'm going to just do a little bit of that just so we can get at least the point across there. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your straws and put them into the holes on your cup. Super simple, so all you have to do right there. You can glue them in place if you want to to make them a little more secure, but you don't necessarily have to. That's kind of a matter of preference there, whatever you'd like to do. Then you're going to take your other cup, and I just like to do this step right now just to do it, um, and you're going to punch a hole. And this is something too, if you don't want to use a cup, you can use anything else. We, we have one that you can literally just use cardboard. But you're going to punch a hole on each side, so straight across from each other, of your cup. And basically what happens there is you're going to want to be able to feed that string, that ribbon, all the way through. 
and tie them and secure them together like that. But the first thing you're going to want to do is just do it. You can just do it on one side, but I'm going to wait on this. Because what's happening next is you're going to take your popsicle stick or whatever you want as your base. And you're going to put it kind of on top in between there. And I'm not actually going to glue it right now just because the glue gun's being weird and I don't want to bend too much with this. You're going to take that and you're going to glue it to the top of your straws here. And that's going to act as your point of the swing, right? The center of that centrifugal force, the center of your circle. So imagine that if this boat was swinging, if it was swinging all the way around, this would be that center point of your circle. This is that diameter there. That's what causes the centrifugal force. So you're going to glue that up there. You're going to wrap this ribbon around that. And so I'll show you on the one that's already complete. So you wrap the ribbon around this. You tie it into the cup. And then you have your thing. Even without this paper boat design right here, you would just have that hanging cup. And that would give you that same effect. Then you can start designing. You can start decorating, right? The difference between a theme park and an amusement park, right? An amusement park has rides and all kinds of cool stuff, but it doesn't necessarily have an underlying theme. A theme park is a park that has specific themes for its rides or areas and different stuff like that. So if you have a theme park, right? If I had a pirate-themed theme park, I could set this up to where it looked like a pirate ship, right? So I'd have my ship and I could possibly set up, you know, some other things to make it look like a canyon or something that it was swinging in between, right? So you can decorate that however you want to at home. Um, but that is just a little bit of what we're gonna be doing here this week. That's just the very first day. We've got all kinds of awesome content here for you for the rest of the week. Make sure at home you are remembering to stay safe. Wash those hands as often as possible. Don't touch your face or eyes. If you're ever going out in public or around anybody, make sure you're wearing that mask to keep everybody you know safe, to keep yourself safe, and just make sure that, you know, we're all having a good time and staying safe together as much as we can. Like I said, my name is Maverick. We're going to be coming at you all week with all kinds of awesome content right here at 1230. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. But until then, have an awesome rest of your day, guys. I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.